Lola the Llama, written by Laura Van Epps, illustrated by Mark Myers. My name is Lola the Llama. I live with Sophia in the Andes Mountains of Peru. Llamas are known for being stubborn, and I'm as stubborn as they come. No one tells me what to do. Do you know? The Andes are a long line of mountains in South America. In fact, they are the longest group of mountains in the world. The Andes stretch from the very top to the very bottom of South America. One day, Sophia wanted to ride down to the village. She saddled me up and climbed onto my back. I dropped down to the ground. She tugged on the reins, but I wouldn't budge. She left and came back with a treat, a carrot. Please, Lola, she begged, come on. She tried to use the carrot to lead me down the mountain, but I had other plans. Instead of going down the mountain, I turned around and climbed even higher. I dragged Sophia along behind me. Once I stopped, Sophia reached into her cloth sack. Take me down to the village, she said, and I'll give you an apple. I took a small bite of the fruit. It was delicious. Sophia took my reins. She tried to pull me to the left, back towards the mountain path. I spat an apple seed at her and ran in the opposite direction. Sophia didn't follow me. Several minutes passed. Maybe she left, I thought. Then I heard Sophia's footsteps coming toward me. I plopped down on the ground and flattened my ears. There was no way I'd let her lead me anywhere. Sophia walked up and looked me in my eyes. Lola, she said, let's do whatever you want to do. You can lie here in the dirt, spit more apple seeds, or even climb the mountain. It's your choice. If you want to go to the village with me, we can do that too, she added. You can decide. With that, she lay down beside me on the path. I had no idea what to do. Up until now, I've been so busy. I'm sorry, I've been busy doing the opposite of whatever Sophia asked me to do. I never stopped to think about what I wanted to do. Having to choose what to do for myself was hard work. After a while, Sophia tapped me gently. Would you like to go home now? She asked. There are more carrots and apples there. More carrots and apples? Hmm. Sophia stood up and began walking home. A few minutes later, I got up and followed her at my own pace. Maybe I'll visit the village tomorrow, just as long as no one tells me to.